Hello, this is a really short video where actually I uh, demo, uh, I think, useful application that uses our chat ops features in a few different ways and it uses serverless as well, basically two are combined. What does this app do? It's a GitHub release watcher. Why is it interesting? Because in the serverless team, we have a few issues even that are waiting for some new releases, for example, for Google. And there are as well some other cases where it's quite useful to know when a new release, even if it's an alpha or beta release comes out, especially in a quickly changing field like Knative. For this reason, I've created this project that receives as arguments GitHub repos and checks if there's a new release from the past 24 hours. If you look at the readme, you can write in a few ways. You can write directly from your CLI using curl, or you can write a schedule job and it will report to a specified channel that you set up, or you can write as a GitLab chat operator. This is the one I'm going to show you right now. I've searched a long time for a repo that actually has a new release today. So what I have to do, I just give the command slash GitLab knative examples GitHub release watcher. This is specific to GitLab.com. If you are running the chat ops on your own standalone instance, then you can have a, your dedicated slash comments and you don't need this extra part, the knative examples part here that, that you see. Then run says that this will be actually a GitLab chat ops comment and run the check repos job and pass on a few arguments to it like AWS SDK Go repo to be checked for new release, the Knative Serving repo is checked for new release, and Unitech PM2 project is checked for new release. In this current case, I know that the last one has a new release. I just have to click enter, <clears throat> and now a job is created in the backend. So basically, here in the pipelines, I can see the job running. and it will send me back the response in the Slack response here. We have to wait for the job to finish, of course. It doesn't like take long time, <clears throat> but in the current case, okay, we have already received. Oh, and actually in both AWS SDK and Unitech really has a new release. Uh, just to let you know, a few minutes ago, this was really just a few minutes ago, the AWS SDK. So this is one of the ways to use it. Then we have the scheduled job as well, which I already set up. Here I have the repos to be set in advance that I want to check on a daily basis. In this current case, neither of them has a new um, release, but now that I know that AWS SDK actually has a new release, I will just add that here and save it and run it. These jobs use Slack's webhook functionality, which means that they are tied to a specific channel where the result will be posted. This webhook web is set as a variable on the on the uh, project, but actually it might be a good idea to set it on the scheduled job as well. And that way we can set up several jobs. And it's, it basically runs the same code as the chat ops did, plus one extra step, which is to gather that output and send it over to Slack. It will arrive shortly in a different channel. Right now I'm in the Slack bot channel and this will arrive to my personal channel. So here we come and there is uh, JSON problem. So this is basically the how things would work if they do, but actually never in demos. And besides this, you can run on curl as well, which is probably much less interesting. <clears throat> 